The Galactic Free Press Update. <clears throat> Missions are complete. Prepare for planetary awakening. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. Wow. And more wow. We are really almost speechless as to what is currently unfolding on behalf of the light and truth on this planet since yesterday's portal opening with oneness energies pouring in. The messages of success of this part of the mission also came pouring out of the Galactic Free Press today. Love is moving in quickly. Humanity is awakening. This planet is transforming into light. Embrace yourselves for the brilliance of truth on planet Earth equal heart to light us up forever. Quoted from Cobra Diamond of the Unseen has been revealed. The doorway of the 1111 is hereby being completely open and activated and will stay open forever. This is our dimensional bridge to oneness and this is our pathway home. The 1111 Gate Activation Meditation, Love Wins. End of quote. The 1122 Gate Activation, Meditations, and Missions were all completed yesterday, placing the planet completely into the Oneness Energies. All portals on the planet and within the planet were opened and Love Energy began pouring in in high amounts. We have accomplished this part of the mission, which will spiral those who are ready quickly upward into the higher vibrational frequencies, which inevitably brings more magical events for those who are awake. The new earth is being born, and this is unstoppable. Quoted from Bill Ballard. Yesterday, we passed through the 11th gate of the 1111 doorway out of duality to begin our living in the oneness from whence we came. I have such gratitude and respect for everyone who have held to their truths and have kept on their mission, even in the face of danger and threats to their freedom, simply for speaking out and speaking their truth. We did it. End of quote. Quoted from Paul. As many of you are aware, last night a major shift, an influx of love flooded in. This is not a coincidence, as we know there are none that this occurred late on Thanksgiving Day, a day of thanks and gratitude. I noticed this big time at around 1 to 3 a.m. The energies were so intense that I felt like the earth and I was, is shifting at a fast and large scale. I also noticed the moon had shifted south and grew exponentially in size and color in a matter of minutes. From this shift, I am noticing clarity. Clarity in the aspect that the veil is hardly there, if at all, as I am adjusting quickly. Star brothers and sisters are now easier to see in the daytime, which is amazing. Also, the elemental and angelics are now in continuous visualization. This is so exciting, as knowing we are one and being able to feel the constant love and see our divine family is an absolute blessing. <clears throat> love reigns supreme. In regards to our star family, I have been getting what I call love operations, almost nightly and consciously. The aspects of these operations that I would like to mention now is of the heart. I and many of you consciously or subconsciously have been getting the same operations to various extents. Change is here. Love is here. It is time to celebrate. Whoop whoop! I love you all and thank you for your service to beloved Gaia, the Elementals, Humanity, Star Brothers and Sisters, and all of the Kingdoms. Let love and gratitude lead the way. Much, much love, Paul. End of quote. All portals are open. Love is pouring in. Missions have been accomplished and all activations complete. Quoted from Gaia Portal Update. Reflections of the highest vibrations amplified upon 1122.12. Amplification of reflections via Gaia Dome energetic structures has occurred via group actions on this date. 
Selected Gaia personnel have answered calls to service for humanity. Gaia radiates and amplifies all energies from 5D to 7D. End of quote. Quoted from Earth Ally Rain. I am so honored to have been given this assignment. I am so honored to have received so much help from the Agarthans and the angels to complete it. My heart is full and my soul is singing tears of joy. And I love you. End of quote. <clears throat> Accomplished mission from the clearing of the Eastern Gate. Thank you, Rain. 1122 Ruin. The Awas, light and life, bringing light to the new day. The union of two rivers that become one in their flowing, generating life for new realities. Earth ally Andrea accomplished mission in Switzerland on 1122 at nine churches following the above path. The return of the Divine Mother and the true humanity of love to planet Earth. Here's where she walked, the Golden Hill, Mirror of Heaven, the return of the Mother and her children. Bringing all that was lost into the illusion of separation and darkness to its true love vibration as all has been created as love. And into love all goes back as it is already now. No more illusion will walk the planet as only love is now allowed, due to love's presence that dissolves the illusion. All that was used to keep the dream is now a new vibration of the true manifestation of love. Decree Beloved Divine Mother, full of heaven and earth, you protect innocence by freeing true nature and all beings, gifting the wisdom of reality, vision of spirit, and manifestation of God's gifts, temple of living water, eternal source of love. Wife and Divine Mother, spark of all that is, your return is the gate of the return of all children of love, nurtured and safe in your sacred womb, as the one self united as one with all of creation. Sun of truth, light of the planet, finally, <clears throat> breath of eternal sparkling love, all is now enlightened. As all the lost temples were seen as pure light again, the last temple is has been opened as the new light portal. The human soul for no external temple is needed when the true one awakens from the dream. Thank you, humanity for remembering who you are. Orino Ceremony In a sacred space out of time, for all living beings, natural inheritor of prime reality, in the presence of all creation, we, the sons and daughters of God, decree the return of the Divine Mother, the one who reunites all past into one, the one of the Divine Heart. And this mission would not have manifested if someone would not have come to kick me out of the dream I almost believed was true. Thank you for being here now and for all the lives we have shared together and for all the adventures we had on this planet and beyond time and space and for all that you are here and always. Thank you, Mother God. End of quote. Quoted from Ron Head. <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> we send our heartiest congratulations for a job well done. Your many group meditations at the opening of the 1122 while passing through the window or gate, whichever term you prefer, have been amazingly successful. The influx of further energies has taken another great jump. Your current state of consciousness and intent have, of course, determined exactly what you are experiencing and how it is manifesting for you, but that is exactly as it should be. We see also that you have given yourselves another boost of the rate in which you are absorbing the changes in order to be ready for the final developments which are approaching. Please relax into this. We assure you once again that you are more than on schedule and nothing may now deter your further awakening. 
be at peace and in greatest joy and gratitude. Your highest versions of yourselves are about to introduce themselves to you. The exact timing of this and the rapidity with which it occurs will be determined by your higher selves and your guides. No matter how ready you may think you are for this experience, we assure you that a full scale and immediate onset of this could quite easily blow your minds. Allow it to occur in the highest and best way. You know what is best for you, and the you that we speak of is about to be experienced in ways you may not have even imagined ever yet. As we have already said through other channels, expect miracles. You are one. I, Michael, and all of my legion walk with you now, as we have throughout your journey, and ask you to request our help whenever you feel the need." End of quote. If you have stepped into the river of this oneness energy, your lives are really going to be lighting up in amazing ways. Our current events completions are showing up for everyone as a sign of the brilliant moments ahead for those who are awake. We are getting reports and per personally witnessing a lot of shifting and changing taking place. It is truly a miracle unfolding before our eyes. Each now moment, love wins again and again and again, in grander ways. Quoted from Maline LaFont, Shifts on a high energetic level are to be expected. The portals in and of themselves have brought you so far already that awakenings are happening now on a global scale, and even more is still to come forward. Events are happening on this earth which are no longer tolerated, and we will arrange matters partly by your consciousness <clears throat> and our assistance. You are definitely not alone in this. You can expect our continued support at all times. That's why we are here in the first place, along with the great love that we actually feel and send to you all. You and your planet are being taken care of and we oversee all that happens on your blood planet. We are stationed and scattered everywhere around the earth, as well as in countless places in your spheres. Many times, our fleet of starships have been observed by individuals, and more observations are expected, of course. Everything in its time. We know all too well what we do and what can be expected in these times. The longings and the yearnings for first contact have considerably increased lately, resulting in a shift in this regards, what can only signify that our presence is already known by many. With each passing day, we feel your request for contact increasing. We are extremely pleased with this, and we continue working on our plan to announce our presence officially and to meet you all effectively. In case you are uncertain as to our intentions, consult your hearts, and you will get to know for yourself who we really are and what we stand for. We only have your best interests at heart and display only loving intentions towards you as we feel so close to humanity and this planet. We do not differ that much in appearance from you, a fact that will become quite obvious really soon now. What you feel in your hearts at the moment of our meeting will be our true nature and light, be it on an etheric level or on a physical level. You can never ever get deceived by the feeling of this. It is what it is. The only factor that would bring deception is the feeling of fear, which is not real." End of quote. These are the moments the Hopis shared with humanity about the river or oneness energy pouring in which occurred yesterday during our portal opening. They also shared to stay in the middle, meaning stay in the center of your heart. Love is truly moving in. Quoted from Arebi, There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and will suffer greatly. Know the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open, 
and our heads above the water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Araby, Arizona, Hopi Nation. Everyone <clears throat> is being affected by this current energy, whether they are aware of this or not. All which is not in alignment with this current powerful river of oneness flowing into the planet, with this current energy, will be transmuting and transforming as we prepare for the birthing energies of the new earth equal heart, where love wins always. Yesterday was truly a day of overflowing gratitude and overflowing joy, which is continuing. Everyone we have connected with over our network of light across the planet, everyone had Kleenex ready as the tears of joy kept arriving overflowingly. Truly a magical day occurred for many. It is time for liftoff into the manifestation of the new earth, everybody. Quoted from Slider 1313. The angels are t telling us that positive energy is pouring onto the earth right now and increasing as the days pass. Wonderful. I have been feeling very calm and happy. Very happy indeed as of late. End of quote. With this much energy pouring in, humanity is truly going to be lighting up like Christmas trees. Everything is happening brilliantly as we head towards another whammy eclipse on November 28th, preparing us for the 1212 portal, which will light up your life. Here we go, everyone. No stopping us now or ever. Decreed by heaven, gate activation and missions have been accomplished. The moment has come to light up this planet. We intend a smooth transition into the new Earth equal heart. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. Just be present and follow the synchronistic events. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven, and the First Contact ground crew team. <laughs>